folks, it's Tony with Honest Review Study Info. I have a laptop, a Toshiba Satellite C85D. I hope I got that right. Um, the problem is it has a limited amount of RAM and I do a lot of video processing. Not a lot, but for example, what I'm taping right now, I later have to transfer from my little memory card to my computer and do the, all the editing and processing. And with the limited amount of RAM that's in the computer, I think it's a total of 3.5. I don't even know how that's possible. I'm constantly using up 100% of my computer's capacity. And the problem is the whole thing slows down brutally and I wanted to change that. So I got myself an 8 gigabyte RAM upgrade and this one is, was ordered through Amazon. Um, it says parts quick every upgrade dot ink. So I guess every upgrade or parts quick is the distributor and I already cut it open here. Let's take it out of the box. Okay, there's this foamy fluffy stuff and here is the RAM upgrade. Now, obviously, if you're experienced with laptops and computers, there's no point for you in watching this video. You know exactly what you need to do. But for those of you who are not that savvy when it comes to laying hands on your own computer, opening it up um, and changing um, the, the RAM, um, that might be actually valuable. And that's for whom I made this video for. So you see, it's very, very small. I don't know if you can see that here on camera, but what we're going to do now, I'm going to bring you downstairs. We're going to open up my computer together and see how easy or not easy it is to install the, the upgrade. So let's go downstairs. All right, guys, so I flipped my laptop over just to confirm. The model I have here is a Toshiba Satellite C855 or C855D-S5209. So uh, it should be fairly easy to do it, but it has been a few years I did that for the last time. So what you need to open is this part here. There's a little screw. I already took care of that, and you see it comes right off. And what you see in here, so it's obviously what I have installed is actually a four gigabyte RAM unit. Now, as far as I can tell, there is um, a socket available right on top of the existing one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install my eight gigabyte uh, RAM unit on top of the four gigabyte RAM unit. And we'll see how that goes. So guys, this is the last step. As you can see, I took my 8 gigabyte unit and I just put it in top of the existing 4 gigabyte. I gave it a really firm press and now, if I recall correctly, again, it has been a few years since I did that the last time. All I do is push down and then it should snap in. You probably just heard that now. And that should do the trick if I did everything correctly. So. We shall see, and the best way to find out is obviously to turn the thing on and see what the computer says. So folks, I must have done something right because what you can see here, it is close to 12 gigabyte. I hope I can zoom that in. So I think everything is correctly installed. Now, how will I notice a performance difference? I tell you how, because as I will be processing this very video you're watching right now, I will use applications like um, the one that came with the camera I'm using right now, and I will be using applications like Camtasia and so forth, and that's where I feel like the computer gets super, super slow. That's basically you can't use it at all as these files are being processed. And so I will let you know what I noticed from a performance perspective. Again, again we brought it up from uh, previously almost 4 gigabyte to now almost 12 gigabyte. And um, I am very, very hopeful that this will um, result in a huge performance increase. And you see the installation was a piece of cake. I'm not a computer geek by any means, but it only took me a couple of minutes really. So folks, I hope you found the video on the RUM upgrade helpful. You saw it was a piece of cake to install. And of course, I haven't done enough with my computer yet to say, oh my God, it's such a significant difference. But I can already tell by just running a few applications, the whole thing is much smoother. So in my opinion, well worth the investment. 
Um, I purchased the ROM upgrade for $80, but I, as usual, I recommend that you check for yourself the current price information and as well as any product features or product information you really need to know you find uh, somewhere here um, a link over to the product and pricing information and whatever else you need so so in case you have question as usual leave a comment below the video or just contact me through my website honestreviews.info I'll see you in the next video I hope you liked it and if you did please leave a like under the video please subscribe to the channel I see you next time till then bye bye